What's going on, guys? I'm at the uh, Halliburton Forest uh, with two of my other buddies who drove up. And uh, we went riding this morning. Uh, conditions are pretty good. Uh, nothing to complain about. They've been out packing, uh, but they have not groomed yet because they uh, apparently don't have enough snow. But uh, they said that they will plan on uh, going out tomorrow, which is Monday, to go grooming. Uh, these are my buddies right here. And, uh, yeah, you'll see how it is now. But, like... I'm, I was very impressed. I, did, I thought the trails were going to be pretty poor, and uh, they're definitely reasonable. The main double track trails uh, are all pretty good, uh, not bumpy in the slightest. There's a few bumps, icy corners, stuff like that. But besides that, all in all, uh, pretty mint. And uh, the machine uh, is, I think, just under 40% break-in left. I've put on like 290K so far this season. Uh, it's been burning uh, a little bit of oil, but not too terribly. Gas is, uh, it's, it, it's drinking gas at a good rate, but I guess that's normal and what to expect with break-in. But in terms of handling, it's, it, it's, a, whole, it's a whole new ball game. Uh, speaking of Mike, Mike got out yesterday. Uh, they opened some trails in uh, southern Ontario. So Mike went out riding and he called me and he's like, yep, yeah, uh, the front end of these new machines is completely different. And I agree, it's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, I don't really have much to complain about. Now we're just waiting for the rest of the guys. Hopefully they don't miss me here. I went pretty fast, so I'll take them a minute to catch up. And the plan is we're gonna we're gonna head down East Road right here, uh, and we're gonna go up to the Redstone Vista, which is pretty nice lookout at the forest. So, waiting for the last guy, and then we should be good to go. There they are. Yeah, the trails, a few stutter bumps, but really, like, for the, for this early, they just opened. Uh, I'm very impressed. I would come back here tomorrow if I could. I'll, uh, I'll shut up and I'll let you guys enjoy the ride. On another note, uh, quite a bit of sled trailers in the parking lot. We, uh, when we got here this morning, there were maybe three or four, and now it's around lunchtime and that parking lot is pretty full. But yet, I've been on the trails and we haven't seen many sleds, maybe 20 sleds all day. So definitely nothing to complain about. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the cutoff to the Redstone Vista. Huh? Nope, I guess not.
I just don't want to miss the uh, the cutoff trail that heads up to the vista, so I'm, I'm paying close attention. I think it's coming up here in a minute or two. Here is the cutoff to the Vista. Oh, make sure the whole crew's showing up. One, two, and three. some air officially at the Redstone Vista. Yeah, it's definitely one of the nice attractions at the forest. There's a bunch of them. There's this Vista, there's a lookout, and there's a few other nice um, attractions to go to while you're here. Yeah, all in all, pretty awesome uh, ride. Conditions are, as as you can see, they're not they're not bad at all. So uh, definitely, if you have the chance, come up and uh, ride the Halliburton Forest. So uh, Gord wants to do a uh, nice little wheelie. So let's see if he's successful. Round two. Let's see if this one's any better. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.